that mukbang where I read out misconnections on Craigslist and I was eating that spaghetti squash dish with the really good sauce and you guys were interested in how to make it. Well, you are in luck, my friend, because today I'm gonna show you how to do it. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a spaghetti squash pasta and a creamy sun-dried tomato sauce to go with it. This recipe is amazing, and if you were trying to cut back on refined carbs and bread and flours and stuff like that, this is perfect because spaghetti squash, in case you didn't know, has a stringy consistency and texture like pasta does, like spaghetti. Hence the name, spaghetti squash. This recipe is crazy simple and easy, so let's get right into it. You're gonna start by cutting the top off of your spaghetti squash. And this type of squash is a little bit harder to cut because it has a thick skin. And because of this, you wanna use a sharp knife. Don't do like me and use a dull knife. And just in general, a good tip is to always be cooking and cutting things with sharp knives. Otherwise, you're more likely to cut yourself with a dull one. So always remember that, guys. Don't do what I did here. As you can see, I'm having a little trouble. So once you cut it in half, you can go ahead and scoop out the insides. And you can either discard and throw out the seeds, or you can season them and toast them in the oven. And I will leave a short recipe down in the description box if you're interested in doing that, which I highly recommend because they go great in soup, salads, or just to snack on. Then you're gonna place your squash cut side down on a parchment paper lined baking sheet and roast in the oven at 400 degrees for 30 to 40 minutes or until tender. Now it's time to make our creamy sun-dried tomato sauce. So to a high-speed blender, you are going to add half a cup of soaked soft cashews, two cups of almond milk, a third cup of sun-dried tomatoes, a quarter cup of nutritional yeast, three teaspoons of fresh lemon juice, one teaspoon of onion powder, and one teaspoon of garlic powder. Blend until silky, creamy, and smooth. Once your squash is fully cooked and out of the oven, you can scrape out the insides with a fork and as you can see, it's giving us that nice stringy consistency that we're looking for. It should be very easy to scoop everything out if it's cooked properly. If it's hard at all, you need to put it back in the oven, but it should be really easy and soft. So once you've scooped out each of the halves, you can place the insides of the squash in a bowl and we will use it for later. Then you can start sauteing half a cup of diced onions in a saute pan for two to three minutes until they're translucent. And since I'm not using oil, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some vegetable stock to keep things moving and to make sure that the onions don't stick to the pan. And then you're gonna add two cloves of minced garlic and continue to cook for two to three more minutes. Then you can add in your spaghetti squash. Some of the sauce. Diced up sun-dried tomatoes. And a couple of pinches of salt for good measure. You can serve your pasta with some extra sauce on top because it is so banging. A sprinkle of sun-dried tomatoes and fresh parsley or basil. Thank you guys so much for tuning in this week. I really hope you enjoyed the recipe. If you did, give it a thumbs up. It really does help. It helps more people see the video. If you do end up making this at home, be sure that you take a picture and tag me on social media. My Instagram handle is at more salt please. You can also find me on Facebook, more salt please. 
And if you haven't already, subscribe down below. Hit that little red button and also the bell icon, which will notify you each time that I post a new video. Take care of yourselves this week, eat good food, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!